Now at Home Design, we are joined by our resident designer, Hamish Dodd, and he's here to show us a brand new kitchen, along with tips on where and how to start what can seem like a daunting project. Morning, Hamish. Good morning, guys. Yeah, that's right. So I, uh, the team from Mastercraft took me on the road to do a little trip, very nice, and uh, go and look at a few different styles of kitchens around the uh, place that we've done. You're right, starting from scratch can be more daunting. Uh, simply there's just nothing to work around, so basically you've got this limitless option. The first one we looked at was in the Waikato, and my first question was, who could live here? You can if you like. This is actually a beautiful show home, designed and built by Downey Designer Homes. What's the most important thing when you're kicking off designing a brand new kitchen? There's so much to consider. So with this build, it was actually a team. We had our Mastercraft Kitchens designer, Linda Moyle, working in collaboration with the builder and the architect and an interior designer to get this look just perfect. How important is it um, when you're designing a kitchen, um, you know, to think about who's going to be using it? You really need to consider who's going to live here. This is a family home, so there's going to be a lot of people using this space. And this kitchen reflects that by a seating area for the kids, maybe. If your mum and dad are cooking, we've got a scullery, so lots of storage. And making it accessible and, you know, long term, I mean, making sure the fridge is big. You know, we might have littlies at the moment, but you might have three teenagers in a few years' time, and the fridge is going to be big enough to accommodate that. What would you consider the important things to do if you're planning on on selling the property? Understated materials, you know, keeping it paired back so it's not overwhelming or too much to taste. And this kitchen displays that very well, using a soft grey rather than white with a nice tim of veneer. It's not over the top and it's just a touch of veneer to warm up the space. And people can envisage their items and, you know, favourite things in that space. What are the standout features in this kitchen for you? Well, for me, the bench top is a standout feature and it's a good place to invest your money if you are going to sell in the future. They've used a beautiful suede finished composite stone top matched with stainless steel and stainless steel is quite bright and shiny so that with the white matte finish, it really complements. As money you're going to get back, you're not going to need to replace your bench top anytime soon and if you are going to sell in five years time, it's still going to look like you put it in yesterday. So tell me about the chopping boards and herbs, um, you know, sort of melted into the bench top. Yeah, you can interchange items that are in these. You can have knife blocks and things, there's lots of accessories that fit those and I love that in this kitchen because it really it softens it a wee bit. Another thing I like, well you and I were having a nice little chat as we get to do before we actually film these and we were chatting about the, um, the way they've sort of bulkheaded around the door into the scullery um, and that matches across to the fridge because otherwise the fridge would kind of be this big large object with nothing else in the room. And it really does just balance it out and make the kitchen feel wider and just more proportionate to the room size. I noticed too um, it's basically drawers, drawers and more drawers. You normally would have a bank of three drawers, a narrower drawer at the top and two shallow drawers, but to get that really sleek, clean line look, just having one horizontal line, adding an internal drawer means that the whole space is accessible. Nice. The other thing is the floating shelves with the LED inserts into them. These look great. You can see them right from the other end of the room. So having nice things like glassware and beautiful bowls and things, it does look really good. And it gives the kitchen an inviting sort of look like, hey, come and cook with me. Talking about shelving, Mastercraft Kitchens has also put and a bookshelf down the hallway for library books and treasures and other things. It's just a reminder that, you know, we don't just do kitchens. If you speak to them early on, we can get that continuity of joinery throughout the home and make sure everything flows. Kristen, thank you so much for showing me this beautiful show home and explaining to me exactly what goes into designing a kitchen for a new build. Uh, you know, it's, it's been amazing. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for coming. It's been great to show you around. Fantastic. Yeah, isn't that brilliant? Do we have favourite points, team? Go. Well, OK, cool, because I guess there's a lot to learn from there. There's a lot you got to think about. My favourite point was yep. the um, uh, the framing around the door matching the fridge. That was very, very clever. Um, that was done in a, um, in a very nice, expensive veneer timber, uh, which worked really well. There's actually a lot of timber, if you mm -hmm. notice, in some of the wide shots. So there was timber in the dining room tables and everything sort of tied through to the kitchen, yeah. which was really cool. But that was... I particularly like that. And the handle, you may have seen me point to it like... Whoosh, like real fast, yeah. uh, that's the handle on the door going to the scullery was a very close match to the handles that were on the fridge as well. Nice. Uh, can I tell you what I liked? Yes. My, my, my two favourite points from that? Yes. Um, the shelving, I yeah. love that shelving, and the chopping boards being in the yeah. in the thing there. So I know. They, they always take up a cupboard and they're annoying to get to. They are, they are, and of course once you've scrubbed them clean they can drip dry in there as yeah. well, which is really good. Uh, the cool thing about that was you can have your herbs and bits and pieces 
I wouldn't have my herbs, mine would die. <laughs> um, but you can also lift everything out, say you're entertaining, you can actually fill it with ice and you can use <gasps> it for wine bottles. Stop it. Now that just appeals to everyone. Yeah. Now I guess when you've got someone like Muscraft helping you out, there's little considerations that you need to think about, like where the doors to your fridge open, because you can design a beautiful kitchen, you put your fridge in, you open the door and it's like, oh, it's not going to go all the way That's back. That's why you need the experts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 everything can bang. Well, see, what was really cool about this too, it was also a collaboration between a few people, so you had the interior designer mm. helping with some of the choices the kitchen designer making it work and the architect um, offering some pieces as well standout things I really love the the little detail of only having drawers running around so we had clean lines but then inside that you had all your different sort of terracing and layers of drawers inside. Brilliant. The bench top was cool too. Yes, and I liked how they took the joinery into the hallway as well. I didn't know the Mastercraft would Th do that's that. That's the thing, yeah, there was already a um, sort of a niche carved out in the hallway to have something right. made for there. So it gives you the opportunity to get a custom shelving system put in there that's going to be deep enough for you to actually stand books up, you know, mm. so they're not on an angle, mm. and store all that nice treasure you have, Mike. What was that bench top like? Okay, that was a, uh, it was a composite stone, but it had a matte finish on it. It was quite bizarre. You kind of touched it and you went, this is odd. But it, it had a certain warmth to it and a softness. I liked it. Mm, nice excellent. Work. Hey, well, thank you for that. Yeah, no I really appreciate excellent. it. That was good. Love it. Thanks, Hamish. And if you're inspired, you can head to mastercraft.co.nz to order one of their free 2018 lookbooks. <laughs>